Last time, we found the creepiest lab in Pokemon history. And now it gets even creepier. See, now you see the three pixies strapped up to apparently very painful machines and having energy sucked out of them. And you see this guy just standing there. Just watching. It's a sick bastard. And now we have to take him down. His name is Saturn. And he is, frankly, not not, not much of a, of a threat, really. He's, he's got the Kadabra, which are incredibly frail, especially when you have a 30 level difference against them with the stabbed return. And the, those are not a threat. And second off, he sends out his Ronzor, which are not offensive threats, but more defensive pains. Because frankly, they just don't want to die. <laughs> I suppose he could have made this fight harder by evolving that Bronzor. I, I don't remember which level they evolve at. But here's the main pain about his Bronzor, is that it has Confuse Ray, which is 100 accuracy. So you basically don't have any way of avoiding it unless you have own tempo or have some sort of sand attack or double team. I, didn't, I decided not to use double team solely because I wanted to get this guy out of the way. I was hoping I had some sort of confusion healing berry, but uh, unfortunately no such luck. And then his final Pokemon is his Toxicroak, which you've seen before. It is still kind of cool looking, but still not really threatening at all. Especially when you have Starsky's Aerial Ace. The only thing that really made this fight go on longer than it needed to was that confusion there. Um, luckily, Toxicroak does not have any super effective or even. probably not even normal effective moves against Starsky. Then, Aerial Ace takes it down, no problem. Game, set, and match. Right, right. There we go. And finally, Saturn has gone down. I was almost expecting him to be more of a threat than Cyrus at this point, considering he comes after. But it's different. And here, he just does the stupidest thing a villain could ever possibly do. He just lets you do the button. It's just what. And I'm not sure what happens if you say no, but that that, that that's, that's just kind of stupid. I don't, I don't even see why they gave you a choice there. And then he tells you why that he needed the three pixies and where he's going. So, basically, yeah. In case you're too stupid to know to leave on the in the first place, it tells you to leave. So, yeah. Those those things are creepy. They, the, those things remind me of uh, Mewtwo's tank in the original movie. And there we go. It opens up the Spiffy teleporter all the way to its basic entrance here. And there you go. That's that's all there is to the hideout. And, uh, yeah. Next stop, Mount Coronet. We're gonna climb the mountain and take on the most annoying uh, team battle in, well, probably this entire game, if I had to guess, just because... Well, probably in the series. Just because it, it, it's, uh... Well, you'll, you'll see why I'm like this. You just, uh... You can look forward to it.